We did it. We hit freaking platinum for the first time ever in all the years I've played Brawlhalla. I'm a flex on my ex, flex on a hoe. You still be in my head, so I'ma let you know. I realize I must I want you. Alright, what is going on guys? Thank you for tuning into this video. And before we go any farther with this video, I just want to say thank you to everybody who viewed my last video. It is the most viewed video on my entire channel. So any new subscribers, I just want to say thank you guys for coming and joining, and I hope I can keep making great videos for you guys. And to anybody who is not yet subscribed and you are watching this video, if you do enjoy, I would really appreciate it if you subscribed and liked the video. You don't have to, but you know, it's it's free. It's free to just, you know, it's a little subscribe button, you know, you know, spend a little bit of your time watching. I hope I can uh, provide some good videos for you guys. But other than that, let's get straight into this video. So as you could probably tell by the title, um, we are going to be attempting to hit platinum in ranked 1v1. I have never hit platinum. I actually finished my placements last night at I believe like 1620 elo and it gave me the platinum border. But I lost the next game I played and it took away my platinum border. So I went online and started looking around as to why. And it says something about the rank threshold and when you de-rank. So I believe we have to get to 1680 elo in order to hit platinum again. So as you guys know from watching any of my previous videos, I'm not very good at this game. And there was a few people who let me know I was not good at this game. Don't worry guys, you don't have to leave a comment. I, I know I'm not good at this game. But I went on YouTube and you know, I started watching some videos of some other people, you know, trying to get some tips and tricks on hitting platinum. And I have came to the conclusion that maybe I'm just attacking too much and I need to play a little bit more patient. So I'm gonna bring you guys with me in this video, win or lose, and we're just gonna see, you know, if we can just try to improve a little bit at least. Don't hit it, that's fine. You know, we'll hopefully hit it before this season ends, but we're gonna go in here and we're just gonna try to concentrate on improving and catching other people's mistakes. So I'm going to play a character I don't normally play, and that is going to be Old Grom. I say I don't normally play, but I haven't level 20. But I haven't played him in a long time, so I figured we'll go ahead and play with him because I love Lance and Axe is broken. If you guys haven't seen my last video, um, you should go check that out. And we're gonna jump straight into a ranked match and see what happens. Okay, we are against an Asuri. Like I said, guys, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try to. Well, obviously, I'm gonna try to win, but right now we're gonna focus on making sure we can, you know, maybe improve a little bit. Okay, okay. This dude is playing very weird. It's not something I'm used to fighting against. But I'm going to try to maybe play it a little slower. Not try to, you know, not try to attack too much. To just take it a little slower than I normally would. Wait to see what he does mainly. Yeah, this is way slower than I normally would play. So I don't know if that's going to be a good thing or a bad thing. He read our dodge. That's good on him. That's good on him. Alright, I missed the punish there. He got the dodge read. Alright. Starting to pick up the pace a little bit. Like, I'm trying to wait for him, and he's waiting for me. Okay. Alright, we didn't let him get too much damage in on us. I'm going to keep the lance for now, because I can close that distance on him relatively quickly. Because he's playing very distant. But I gotta be able to get these punishes on him. There we go. Got a little bit of it. Not give him enough to punish. Also, I'm trying to focus on consistent movements that people do. So, like, where does he normally go after he does a move? Stuff like that. Really try to, like, read into how they're playing. And as you can tell, it's not going too well right now. But guys, it's okay. It's okay. We're starting to learn how to play it a little slower than I normally would. Gotta watch out for those guitars, because that move can close distance like crazy. Try not to be too predictable, because I notice that I like to spot dodge a lot. I can't get the read on him. And I'm dead. Yep, GG, GG. All right, guys, well, we lost again. We lost again, it's okay, though. Uh, it was a good game by him, he did really well. 
It's just, I'm trying to learn how to play passive and he was playing even more passive than I was. So I'm still trying to break myself out of that habit of not just running and swinging and hitting and getting punished like crazy. But it's okay, we lost the game, but we're gonna go right back into another one. All right, we're against a Barraza. All right, this dude is playing way more aggressive. I missed the punish, can't be missing those. All right, he dodged away, center stage. Normally people dodge in, but he dodged away. Dodged away. So it seems as soon as I hit him, he wants to get away from me as fast as possible. So he's going to dodge away. All right, he dashed in. That should not have caught me, if I'm being honest. There we go. Punish. Punish. Wait. All right, that was dumb by me. 100% deserve that. That one is a little uh, iffy. Gotta watch out for that pistol. There we go. Good punish. Good punish. Side hit. There we go. All right, guys. We got this. Just play it a little slower. We're going to toss that axe. Okay. I'm trying to figure out how that didn't hit. Got to watch out for his axe. There we go. All right. He's a swinger. All right. He, he's jumping. There we go. There we go. There we go. Punish. There we go. Punish. All right. Gonna chase. There we go. All right. Oh, he he left. Okay. Um, I don't I don't have that happen very often. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I don't have luck against bots. I normally get my freaking tail whooped. So, if I lose to a bot, <laughs> you know how funny that'd be? Okay, well, we finally got a win, guys. Look at that. Just got to play it slow, let him keep swinging, and just try to punish his mistakes. I think that's going to be the main thing with ranking up, is I have to just make sure I can get good punishes on their mistakes and not make enough mistakes to get punished myself. All right, guys, so this video right here... I was at 1678 or 1679 ELO. So from where you guys last saw, I lost multiple games in a row. So I didn't think I was going to upload any of these games I was playing afterwards. But here we finally got to 1679 and it was a very, very good and close game against this Mordex. Now, since I didn't think I was going to upload this clip, there was no talking over it or anything. It was just me playing a normal game. So I figured I'd go ahead and commentate over it now a little bit, just so it's not just boring gameplay over and over again. Even though some of you guys might like just, you know, watching regular 1v1s with no commentary. It was a good game with this Mordex. Um, this took many, many games to finally achieve Platinum, but I did learn a lot while I was playing. Learned how to adapt somewhat and punish mistakes. And I have also been able to beat my very first Boots character. Because yes, every Boots character I played, I have lost against ever since I started playing this game again. Just because of the unfazable square side combo that instantly kills you off the side because it's unfazable and it is like a 60 hit combo. But I learned a lot playing these matches. Um, it was very weird trying to adapt my playstyle to be passive. Still had a lot of games where I just started swinging again. I had to remind myself to just slow down, wait till I can get the punishes on them, and try not to get punished myself. But yeah, anybody watching this, uh, feel free to let me know your rank in the comments, and if you have any more tips, or maybe some other people watching this might be trying to get into Platinum. So, any tips and tricks you guys want to leave for me or anybody else, you're more than welcome to, except for all the hate comments, telling me I shouldn't be here, or I shouldn't be doing this because I'm bad. Dude, I know I'm bad. Like, what are you achieving by telling me I'm bad? Does that make you feel better? I mean, if it makes you feel better, sure. I mean, you know, you do you. But I just want to thank all of you guys again. If you are watching this far into the video, I really appreciate it. And um, if you do enjoy my content, I would really appreciate if you would subscribe and turn on notifications so you'll be updated for any future videos. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. 
and um, I might start doing some live streams here and there, um, just depending on time. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and let the rest of this gameplay play out if you guys want to watch that. Um, I do end up hitting Platinum in this game. I figured I have already given it away. But um, yes, we finally hit Platinum. I'm right on the edge of Platinum, so I just stopped playing there for now. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll go ahead and let this play. Okay guys, I know there was no commentary over that last game just because I didn't plan on recording, but I think I might put this game in anyway just because we did it. We hit freaking platinum for the first time ever in all the years I've played Brawlhalla. So I don't know if I'm just going to commentate over it or what, but yeah, this is probably going to go in the video. So if it is in the video, thank you guys so much for watching. We finally did it. And if you enjoyed, please be sure to like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you.